Anstatt eines blöden Videos mache ich heute ein ganz tolles Video wegen des Interesses meines Publikums. Während dieses Videos werde ich euch die Genitivpräpositionen der deutschen Sprache beibringen. Innerhalb der ersten zwei Sätze habt ihr schon drei davon gesehen. Hallo Deutschlerner! As you saw in the opening sequence, today's lesson is about genitive prepositions. If you need a lesson about the basics of the genitive case, I did that last week and there's a link in the description for that. If you want to take a deep dive into every single detail about the entire genitive case, you can check out my genitive case masterclass lessons, which are linked in the description. Genitive prepositions are exactly what the name implies. They are prepositions that require the object that follows them to be used with the genitive case. There are upwards of about 16 of these prepositions, but there are usually four listed in most German textbooks, as these are the most commonly used ones. I'll start today with those, and then I'll move on to the others. Anstatt, instead of. Anstatt eines Autos, kaufe ich ein Fahrrad. Instead of a car, I am buying a bicycle. Der Junge isst einen Apfel, statt eines Kuchens. The boy is eating an apple, instead of a cake. As you can see with these two examples, the object that follows the preposition is in the genitive case, eines Autos and eines Kuchens. You may have also noticed that the second example I gave said statt without the an at the beginning. This is also an acceptable version of this preposition. The meaning does not change whatsoever. It is just a personal preference whether you say statt or anstatt. Trotz, despite or in spite of. Trotz der Kälte steht er im Regen. In spite of the cold, he is standing in the rain. Die Lehrerin wiederholt die Anweisungen trotz des Lärms. The teacher repeats the instructions despite the noise. This preposition is used in a very similar way to the English phrase in spite of. It shows a juxtaposition of one thing versus the action taken. Während, during. Während des Sturms gab es einen Stromausfall. During the storm, there was a power outage. Ich bin während des Spiels eingeschlafen. Wer hat gewonnen? I fell asleep during the game. Who won? This one's a bit tricky because there is also the conjunction während, which is used to express very similar concepts. The main thing to remember is that the preposition während is combined with a noun, while the conjunction während is combined with a subordinate clause. Während ich ein Eis esse, ist meine Schwester etwas Brokkoli. While I am eating ice cream, my sister is eating some broccoli. I have a video all about these kinds of conjunctions and the clauses that they cause. You can find that linked in the description as well. In general, you can translate the sentence in English with the word while when you need the conjunction and not the preposition. When während is used as a preposition, it's almost always translated in English as during. Wegen, because of. Wegen der Inflation kostet mein Kaffee 5 Euro. Because of inflation, my coffee costs 5 euros. Fred darf wegen seines Hausarrests nicht mitkommen. Fred can't come along because of the grounding, or because he was grounded. If you mean to say because followed by a phrase, you probably need to use the conjunction weil, denn, or da instead of the preposition wegen. Ich kann mir keinen Kaffee leisten, weil die Inflation des Euros steigt. I cannot afford a coffee because the inflation of the euro is rising. Ich kann mir keinen Kaffee leisten, denn die Inflation des Euros steigt. I cannot afford a coffee because the inflation of the euro is rising. Da die Inflation des Euros steigt, kann ich mir keinen Kaffee leisten. Because the inflation of the euro is rising, I cannot afford a coffee. Again, there is more information about these conjunctions in the same video that I mentioned about während. For today's video, just remember that when you say because of followed by a noun, you need to use the preposition wegen. When you follow it with a clause, you need to use a conjunction like weil, denn, or da. Now is probably an opportune time to mention that you will often hear the genitive prepositions used with the dative case instead of the genitive. This is almost exclusively in spoken German and is more prevalent in certain areas than others. In my mind, it's better to use the genitive case than the dative case, as this is what the official guardians of the German grammar dogma have said it should be. Just know that you might hear someone say wegen seinem Hausarrest instead of wegen seines Hausarrests. The four prepositions that I have shown you so far are usually the only ones in textbooks. 
This is partly because they are the most used ones, but it's also partly because there are easier ways to phrase most of the rest of the genitive prepositions. Rather than teaching all of these prepositions in the lower level courses, teachers and textbook creators will opt to leave them for a much later B1, B2 level lesson. I like to be thorough though, so I'm going to teach them to you today anyway. Innerhalb, inside of. Gegenseitiger Respekt ist äußerst wichtig innerhalb eines Geschäfts. Mutual respect is crucial inside of a business. Innerhalb einer Stunde wurde er verhaftet. Inside of an hour, he was arrested. Außerhalb, outside of. Warum ist die Milch immer noch außerhalb des Kühlschranks? Why is the milk still outside of the refrigerator? Die Polizei hat sein Auto außerhalb der Stadt gefunden. The police found his car outside of the city. Oberhalb, above. Der Clown jongliert Bälle auf einem Hochseil oberhalb des Publikums. The clown is juggling balls on a tightrope above the audience. Die Sommerrodelbahn ist auf einem Berg oberhalb der Stadt. The alpine coaster is on a mountain above the city. Unterhalb, under. Manche Flüsse fließen unterhalb der Erde. Some rivers flow underground. Die Stadt liegt unterhalb des Skiurlaubsorts. The city is located below the ski resort. Seitens, on the side of. Die Firma musste wegen Diebstahl seitens der Arbeitnehmer Bankrott annehmen. The company had to declare bankruptcy because of theft on the part of the employees. Die Gefährlichkeit des Weges erfordert Vorsicht seitens der Wanderer. The danger of the path requires caution on the side of the hikers. Dies seits, this side of. Dieses Restaurant hat das beste Barbecue dies seits des Mississippis. This restaurant has the best barbecue this side of the Mississippi. Dies seits der Grenze findet man viel mehr wilde Blumen. On this side of the border, you find many more wild flowers. Jenseits, the other side of. Es gibt viele Obdachlose, die jenseits dieses Gebäudes leben. There are lots of homeless people who live on the other side of this building. Jenseits der Brücke steht ein Troll. On the other side of the bridge, there's a troll standing. Anlässlich, on the occasion of. Meine Frau hat mir ein Buch über Goethe anlässlich unserer silbernen Hochzeit gekauft. My wife bought me a book about Goethe on the occasion of our silver wedding anniversary. Seine ganze Familie jubelte anlässlich seines Freispruchs. His entire family cheered on the occasion of his acquittal. Kraft des Gesetzes darf man einen Führerschein anstatt eines Reisepasses als Ausweis benutzen, wenn man innerhalb der USA fliegt. By law, you are allowed to use a driver's license instead of a passport as identification when you are flying inside of the United States. Der Lehrer darf Weisungen Kraft seiner Autorität ausgeben. The teacher is allowed to give orders by virtue of his authority. Laut, according to. Laut dieser Zeitung ist der Musiker bei einem Autounfall gestorben. According to this newspaper, the musician died in a car accident. Laut seines Vaters ist er nicht zu Hause. According to his father, he isn't at home. Aufgrund, on the basis of or because of. Aufgrund seiner Vorbestrafung hat er den Job nicht bekommen. Because of his criminal record, he didn't get the job. Wir haben heute schulfrei, aufgrund des Schnees. We don't have school today, because of the snow. Bezüglich, with regard to. Ich habe eine Frage bezüglich meiner Bewerbung. I have a question with regard to my application. Mein Chef will mit mir bezüglich meiner Pünktlichkeit sprechen. My boss wants to talk to me about my punctuality. That's it for this video about genitive prepositions in German. If you would like to learn more about the genitive case, you can see my genitive case masterclass video linked over here. Das ist alles für heute. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!